unlock the power of repurposed content. I've already described this in an earlier video, but this topic is so important it deserves its own standalone video. When you create original content for your blog or website, you already know that this content has some sort of traction in your niche. You already know that there is a significant amount of demand for this particular type of content. Not only did you base your decision on the social signals of your reverse engineered competitors content, but you're also picking out content choices based on your own statistics. In other words, you're basing your best content on tried and proven material. You're not taking shots in the dark. You're not taking wild guesses. You're not crossing your fingers and hoping that something sticks. Instead, you have based your decision on what actually works. Congratulations, but you shouldn't stop there. Once you have noticed that this content really performs based on the amount of clicks as well as the social media engagement it gets, the next step is to repurpose that content, turn them into other types of content, and reshare them on platforms that specialize in those content types. For example, if your blog post is getting a lot of retweets and clicks, you might want to strip the blog post into questions. This isn't all that hard because if you look at any type of content, it consists of answers to questions. The questions may not be obvious. The questions may not be plainly stated, but the content is meant to address certain concerns. These concerns can be reworded into questions. Strip your most powerful and best performing content into a series of questions. Each question then is linked to the article or blog post that answers it. Tweet these and pair them with niche specific hashtags. By using automation tools, you can rotate different questions that essentially promote the same piece of content. Since you're rotating hashtags, there's a high chance that different people looking for different segments of your niche would become aware of your tweet and possibly click through. Another thing you can do is turn your article into slideshows. Each article brings to mind many different mental images. Come up with different pictures for each of the topics raised by your article and create a simple slideshow using PowerPoint. Share these PowerPoint presentations on SlideShare. You can also use other tools to create a video from your slideshows. Once you've created these videos, you can obviously share them on YouTube. Alternatively, you can look through the issues you raised in your blog post and turn them into infographics. Infographics are essentially stripped down graphical forms of articles or blog posts. They focus on the most important points you raised and make them easier to understand by the viewer by converting them into pictures. Share these infographics on Pinterest. Finally, you should make sure that all your blog posts or articles have a nice header picture. This way, when you load the link on Facebook, a nice preview shows up. It grabs eyeballs and people are excited to share the content. On Facebook, you have a wide range of content formats to choose from. You can share links, videos, infographics, photos, diagrams, and even audio files. After you share materials on your Facebook page, you should then get the link to that post and then share that Facebook page link in Facebook groups that cater to your niche or a related niche. This is how you unlock the power of repurposed content. If you play the game this way, you spend less time creating content and more time promoting. Promotion is the name of the game. You may have great content, but it's not going to do you much good if people don't even know it exists. For every hour you spend creating content, you should spend 10 hours promoting that piece of content. This is how you build up a successful mailing list. This is how you create a solid brand on social media. Start with powerful content, but create different versions and spread it on many different social media platforms.